it's Jay and today I am here with my most anticipated February reads for 2017. I have a total of six books. Again, try not to pick the super popular books except there is one I think that is actually super popular because it's like super hyped but like I've already read it so it like needs to be hyped because it's real good. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> my first book is called The Burning World by Isaac Marion and this is actually the second book in the Warm Bodies series. I had no idea they were making a second book and I saw it on the Goodreads list and I freaked out because Warm Bodies is one of my favorite books. Oh, I'm very excited for a sequel. Not gonna give a synopsis about it because it's a sequel, but basically R is back and Julie is back and there's a war. And this book is supposed to come out on February 7th, 2017. So, you know your girl. Gonna run. Get that book. Probably not though because I never actually get new books, but we can hope that I actually do it this time. So excited. The second book on my list is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, and this is supposed to come out February 28th, 2017. And I'm actually thinking about making a review for it on my channel closer to the release date because I've already read this. And I give it a 4 out of 5 stars. It is so good. It's a Black Lives Matter book. The book follows Star, who is 16 years old, and she witnesses her friend Khalil get shot. So when the news about Khalil being unarmed gets out to the media, people are enraged and they start protesting. Star needs to decide whether or not to come forward with what happened or to not say anything in order to protect herself. Such a good book, and you all need to run out and get it when it comes out on February 28th, okay? Thank you. My third book on my list is To Catch a Killer by Cheryl Scarborough, and this is supposed to come out February 7th, 2017. And this book follows Erin Blake, who as a child survived three days beside her mother's dead body. And she was raised by her mother's best friend because they didn't know who her father was. So 14 years later, she discovers the body of her biology teacher and when the police start asking her questions, she doesn't tell them the entire truth because she is convinced that it would get in the way of her own investigation into her mother's murder. I just think that it sounds super cool and it's like a psychological thriller mystery thing. And you know you're gonna like her psychological thriller mystery things, so I'm excited about this. And it was also sent to a bunch of booktubers in like a little package with like forensic stuff and I just, I wanna read it because it seems cool. The fourth book on my list is called Sad Perfect and it is by Stephanie Elliott and it's supposed to come out February 28th, 2017. This book follows 16 year old P who suffers from avoidant restrictive food intake disorder. She falls in love with a boy named Ben and she decides that she's going to hide her disorder from him so she decides that she's not going to take her anxiety medication anymore and that is when her disorder takes over. So she turns to Ben and her family for support and it's basically her journey getting over this disorder. I love eating disorder books or like mentally ill main character books. I don't know how to describe it without it sounding weird, but I love books like that. So this one is right up my alley, and I've never read a book about avoidant restrictive food intake disorder. I didn't even know that was a thing. So I'm very excited about it. My fifth book is called Vanished by T.K. Lee, and this comes out February 7th, 2017. This book follows Ray Kilpatrick, who had the perfect life. She's about to marry the man of her dreams until he never comes home from a humanitarian project. And when the video of his gruesome murder arrives on the media, she decides that she is going to take matters into her own hands and make the person responsible pay by making him lose the one that he loves the most as well. And she won't stop until it happens. I just think this sounds really cool and she's gonna like do something real bad and I'm super excited, I'm down for it, I want her to do something bad and I wanna see what it is. The sixth book on my list is The Possessions and it is by Sarah Flannery Murphy and this comes out February 7th. This book follows Eurydice who works as a body for a private company where grieving people can come in and give a possession to these bodies and they basically communicate with the dead. Edie channels Sylvia, who is the deceased wife of a guy named Patrick, and she becomes obsessed with this glamorous couple, and she begins to help Patrick connect with his wife outside of the walls of this private company. The circumstances around Sylvia's drowning death are a little bit mysterious, so Edie takes it into her own hands to discover what actually happened the night of the drowning. 
I just think that this whole concept sounds super cool. I mean, like, being able to talk to the dead seems like it would be pretty interesting. I think that it could be fun, so I want to read this book. Alright guys, so those were my six most anticipated reads for February. Probably never going to read these books until, like, next year February, but it's fine. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!